Patrick. I've, I've read the little paragraph, and Larry Hoover's still in there. I think I whack. I think I think man, this was a smart move on his behalf. Disassociate himself <clears throat> with it, and 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 I and I hope that this you know will be taken into consideration. What's your views? What you seeing is what I did twenty some years ago. Me. Right. Hey, listen, man. At some point, you got to understand when it ain't yours no more. Mm. And the organization he had built, things happen, you know, that's how it go. <clears throat> but you got to remember, if you look at Chicago today, as we know it as Chirac, he never heard his city called Chirac back in the 70s. He's been in jail since 73. Right? But they saying, well, everything going on is still you too. Right? So he had no other choice. Well, around him should have advised him to make that move a long time ago. But what it is, is the same niggas that got five to 10 that know they're going to get out. Nah, we want you to hold the fort. Instead of man, listen, step away from this shit. We know what you did for, did for it. We are, we know who you will always be. We gonna hold it down. Step away from this shit so you can come home. We coming home anyway. Nah, fuck that. Stay down for the crime. You know this be the attitude. And sometimes, bro, <clears throat> you gotta make that decision, man. That ain't for them. All my young life, bro, every decision I made was for the set. And I lost all my youth, all of it. Nigga, from 12 to, to 18, them years, acts is gone. I had zero youth. Nigga, I lost all the youth for my motherfucking lifetime. I can't press rewind and go do it again. Nigga, what no prom, what no motherfucking... Yeah, well, I ain't getting none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was doing time gang banging street shit. But I lost that nigga. I wasn't finna look I wasn't I wasn't finna lose being a man. Fuck that. So, you know, this is why I move according how I move. He had to. The brother been gone 49 years. That man been in prison four years longer than I've been living. Right? So then he still had bad people around him that he thought was good. Jay Prince is one of them. He was using his name for clout. Hey, and, and, and you make a good point with that. And you called it out. TJ, you got that ready? Um, you called it out, man. And we actually have that audio ready to go. Where you Before we even press play on that, Reek, the nigga was doing it in the 90s. When he was putting him on ghetto boys music and rap songs and shit. That's what he right? Did. Listen, bro, I wouldn't give a fuck what my homeboy wanted to do. This nigga is like, yeah, we're gonna put Larry Hoover on the ghetto boy song. This is my label, my group. Instead of saying, Hey Larry, this shit ain't gonna work for you in the long run, bro. It's gonna have you looking like you still promoting some gangster shit. Nah, he didn't see it that way. He saw it as an enhancer to what he was doing. He didn't look and see, I'm free. The ghetto boy's free. The music is there without Larry Hoover tying his voice to this shit. And then white folks going to see this. And one day in them courts, they going to press play and say, no, nah, this is what you stand for and represent. Nah, yeah. he's supposed to shut that down. That can only happen by the executive producer allowing it to happen. Edits, mix, mastering, all that. I wouldn't even let my homeboy, I got a homeboy in there, right? My homeboy Cuban Rod. He got mad as a motherfucker at me a couple years ago. Hey, yo, why my name ain't on the tour list? You ain't going on tour. What you mean I ain't going on tour? Because I heard you on the phone, you got a fucking meeting with FedEx, and the day you got an interview with FedEx is a tour date. Nah, I'm going, no, you staying here. Right now today, that man is full-time 
full benefits at FedEx, make a six-figure a year because his homeboy called a shot. I made a decision for him. Yeah, I'd love to have him by me. He one of my warriors. A nigga going to die before he let a nigga touch me. But you know what? The better thing for him to do was to go to that interview. These niggas be selfish with their acts, bro. They want to, they, as long as it helped them, fuck what it's doing or not doing for the individual that's helping them. Nah, put him on there. He been using Larry Hoover name, clout chasing off of this shit for damn near 25 years, bro. Real talk. Man, that shit all bad. TJ, go ahead and spin that real quick. Wholeheartedly, that Jay Prince whole mission is to somehow, some way, in a slick snake way, is to set it up so Larry Hoover cannot get out of prison. Oh hell! I no. disagree with that whole. Hell no! Nah. Why would Jay Prince, in the name of Larry Hoover, go to social media? and insinuate in any way that it's on, it could be smoke. Why would he sit his son, Larry Hoover Jr. on the side of him, even when he's having these type of discussions? He should have said in the name of rap a lot and put by any and all means, you protect that man. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. People people didn't see what was going on. Oh, it's more to that. It's more to that. God. I, I didn't even think about the 90s. I didn't even think about that. Putting no, it's more to that interview. That's all y'all had? Was, was that the end of that clip? Yeah, that was just a short clip you sent me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's more to that because, because I went to say talk about what Kanye did to help frame Versus with this dude doing. Because I'm telling you, once war is on, the first shot fired, the first body that dropped, when he stepped in front of them people to try to come home, they going to say, this is going on actually right now in 2022 in the name of Larry Hoover. So this is what you screaming, Jay Prince? You trying to keep him up in there. Mm. You fucking with a wartime nigga, and it's going to be on. So... So when this started to happen and the tabloids start to social media release, WAC 100 and Jay Prince, one boy in the whoop de whoop de whoop, three stabbed, two shot. This happened, that happened. And you screaming Larry Hoover. Nigga, you know what you was doing. Because he know what Larry Hoover get out, nobody want to talk to him no more. They want to talk to Larry about Larry. You got to watch it, my nigga. Trickery yeah, and deceit. Trickery I, I and deceit is a one. motherfucker. Real nah, talk. Real shit. Yeah, I just sent you the full one. The full one is three minutes. Um, yeah, nah, it, it's it's fucked up, but I'm 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 happy that Larry Hoover has finally wrote a letter and and stated something because you know we all whack. We've been kind of waiting for him to say something. We like damn. Yeah. All this is going on. Is he gonna communicate anything? Like, hey man, I don't stand for none of that shit going on out there about that. <laughs> like, well, he's not really, I mean, he's not really able to, due to his security, you know, status. You can always get a kite really out. Talk to nobody. Well, he I got that letter to his attorney. Got that. Yeah, that, 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 that was, that was, that was judge. So you know what that means? That let me know that people have communicated to Larry Hoover and told him, "Hey, man, you know Jay Prince out there doing a whole bunch of shit, and you know he's saying this in the name of you." And, and the organization, so you know, he Larry been the Hoover. only one hollering anything with Larry name on some bullshit. You don't even hear the youngsters in Chicago hollering. We we did this for Larry. They don't even say they don't do that. No, they don't. They don't do that. 